Hey guys, Jason here at Oklahoma Barbecue Supply, and today's April 5th, and so today is also National Deep Dish Pizza Day. So with that in mind, we're going to have a little fun today. So at Oklahoma Joe's, they make a pizza pan that fits right into your Ryder DLX smoker. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to do a deep dish pizza on the Ryder DLX. So we'll get started real quick. So we used uh, Urban Slicer Pizza Works. We used their premium dough mix. and that's how we made our crust. And then just a few simple ingredients. We're going to use chopped brisket. We're going to use cheese, uh, barbecue sauce. Uh, we're going to use uh, duck fat to spray our pan down from our favorite sponsor, Duck Fat. We're going to use Rainier Foods, garlic and herb. And we're going to use Harry Sue's all-purpose rub. And then we're going to put a little bit of oregano and a little bit of garlic salt. So what we've done is we've made our dough. We've let it rest. See right here, got a good ball of dough. And we're gonna go ahead and start spreading it on our pan, and then we're gonna let it rise a little bit more after we get it in the pan for about another 30 minutes or so before we start dressing it. So all you're gonna do is just take this in here and just start working it out. Get it good and even on your sides. And uh, then, like I said, we're gonna let it rest for about an hour and uh, then we'll be back. All right guys, so we're back and we got our crust done. So there you see a picture or a good video of the crust. And I do want to make a correction. If you guys are going to use the Urban Slicer crust, you're going to need two packages, not one. I had to improvise, go back and get some different crust. Um, but this is a little bit bigger pan than normal. So, all right, let's build this thing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little bit of sauce, barbecue sauce, Oklahoma Joe's original, put it down here on the bottom because we're doing a barbecue pizza, so no pizza sauce here, just barbecue sauce. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a half meat. So we're going to do sausage on half and brisket on half. So, but you know, you guys can do anything, chicken. I didn't want to do chicken because there's a lot of people out there that already do barbecue chicken pizzas, so that's why we kind of stuck with beef. Um, so get your sauce down, and then we're going to lay down a layer of cheese. So I've got a bag of cheddar here. I'm going to lay down a bed of cheese on here. My favorite part of the pizza. The idea is to build a pizza to make a deep dish, so you're going to have to put quite a bit of cheese on there. This is a five pound bag. You can get those anywhere. You can get them at Sam's. Sometimes Walmart has them. You know, whatever cheeses you want. Um, now that we've got that done, we're going to put our meat in. So we've got our house brand, Oklahoma Joe Smoked Sausage, that we sell here at Oklahoma Barbecue Supply. We're going to put that on half. I got about three pounds ish. I'm just going to put that in there and spread it out. Spin it around so we can put our brisket in. Start with three pounds of brisket too. You will not use all that, but this is just chopped brisket.
make a mat of it like you did before. You're going to have enough grease from all the cheese on this thing. You're not going to have to worry about too much moisture. Right. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put one more layer of cheese and vegetables. So I've got red onions. I'm a big onion guy. You guys that have watched my videos know that I use onions in about everything. So this is no different. And you can be crazy with the toppings. You put anything on here. But we're going to keep it simple today. We're just going to do onions, red bell peppers. You want to make sure you put some toppings. I wouldn't do just meat. you got to have some toppings that helps with the structure of the pizza. Alright guys, so here we are at the smoker. We got our Oklahoma Joe's Anthem Series Rider DXL. What we're going to do is we're going to open it up. We're going to grab our grate tool. We're going to get in here and grab the middle grate out. We're set at about 300 degrees. It's just perfect in there. I've got it set at 300 degrees and we're gonna let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. We'll check on it here in about 40 minutes. All right guys, so we pulled the pizza off of the smoker. We left it on for about an hour and 10 minutes. You can see that the crust started to brown up a little bit. It started to pull away from the pan, which means that it's getting done. So for lack of having a pizza uh, cutter, we're just gonna dig in a regular knife and uh, get a piece out here so you guys can see it. Thank you. 